Today we're going to talk about .NET Nuke, uh, particularly .NET Nuke 7 and jQuery and the jQuery CDN. Uh, I, I had become a little bit confused. I, I had read where .NET Nuke included jQuery with, uh, I guess, from 6 on up. Well, wasn't quite sure how it worked, so I had to do a little exploring. In particular, how to add the Google CDN. It, it was a little bit confusing, so I thought I would make this video. So for starters, I got a, a page. I'm about to go to the page, and this is all the code that's in the page. I got me a, This is all that's required, except for this part right here. You don't even need this part right there. This is all that's required to... Uh, have a dotnet nuke page is a content pane with the control languages up here okay i'm putting this in here so i can test my jquery oops i get rid of it there and make sure it's working all right go ahead and save that and that's i have that page set to this test page and notice I get my alert jQuery is working. Now let's view the source here. You remember, I have no code in there, but look, this is what DNN does. Where does it start at? It starts right here. jQuery is added. Uh, jQuery migrates added, which uh, some deprecated stuff that's happened in earlier versions of jQuery. Uh, J jQuery migrate brings back that API for, you know, Developers said may plug in the stuff that re required that in previous uh, versions of jQuery. So migrate just brings that stuff back. And then you have the jQuery UI. All that stuff is added. You don't have to do anything to have access to that. .NET Nuke adds it automatically. Now, using a CDN typically is faster for loading, basically because people who come to your site may have already have a copy of that version of the uh, jQuery cached in their browser from another CDN. So let me show you how to add a CDN. Because right now that's all local hosted files. So we go to host, host settings, and this is not readily available. This is where I got confused. You go down to CDN settings. It doesn't say, it says use JavaScript, JavaScript library CDN. If checked, the associated URL will be used for JavaScript libraries. All right. That really doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what's using what, and this is where it got confusing at. But go ahead and check that box. Host settings, uh, advance, and go down to CDN. Check that box, update. And then to see what it's actually doing, you go to host settings, extensions. Scroll down all the way down to uh, JavaScript libraries. And if you click on edit, let's look at the J jQuery library. The default CDN is Ajax uh, Google. And uh, we'll look at jQuery UI as well. Again, it's Google. You'll notice you can put a custom CD in there. It will overwrite this if you put it there in, in any of these. So let's go back to our home page and see what our test page and see what happened. We notice jQuery is still working. View source. You'll come down here and you'll see now it has Google. And then uh, migrate is pulling it straight from jQuery it looks like. And then uh, Google for the jQuery UI. And here, it has a fallback. This right here basically says, if jQuery uh, right here is not working, use the hosted files. That's what it's saying. If it is working, do nothing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see a fallback at all for uh, jQuery Migrate or jQuery UI here. Uh, if they ever do that in the future, I'll update this. But right now, the jQuery library does have a fallback, so we could go ahead and test that out. Make sure the fallback works by disconnecting from the internet. I'm on a local version right now, local host copy of this. Okay, 
we are now disconnected let me go back to my home page and come back and you'll notice Jake we're still working because it's using the fallback the self uh, the hosted files and that's all there is I hope this has helped someone out have a good day